It is now time for a fatal four-way between the body guys, Kathy. Now, who do you give the advantage to as far as physique? It's very close, but between these four. It's, you know, it's a really close call, Johnny. Yeah. But Keep in mind the detective has not taken his shirt off yet, so it's not really fair to judge. We don't know what he's working with, and that no. mystery alone, he's my, he's my front runner. You're going with the detective. Yes. That's fair absolutely. enough. Absolutely. How about for you? I mean, look, uh, I, I think I'd be blind to not say Brian Cage right off the bat, but of course you have the global superstar Jake Atlas. He's in incredible shape, Ryan Taylor. But, you know, I like the underdog, and right now I'm going to go with uh, the guy who's as pale as an apparition. I'm going to have to go with Detective as well. And, and Johnny, you know that that's... Actually, Rick Knox. You're going with Rick Knox yes. there. Fair enough. Rick Knox is the body guy I'm going with. Rick Knox has won a match here at Barber 4, so that's totally, totally fair. Rick Knox is a legend. He's Absolutely. undefeated. You know that song that one of these things is not like the others? Yeah. It keeps running through my head for some reason over the course of the we beginning of this match. Still talking about Rick? Well, maybe. I meant as far as competitors go. Well, look, Detective Dan Barry is often working undercover. Okay. And yeah. as you can see by his outfit here, he looks like he's just taking his kids to the beach. Mm. It, by his, but then again, he's always doing work. I'm not sure what Even he's... now, I think he might have been looking for clues. You know, you would think Detective Dan Barry is intimidated by Brian Cage, but I think this all might be part of the strategy. I believe it. It's a very interesting technique. You would think a detective would exhibit good sportsmanship. There you go. Okay, see? Oh, no. Nope. Whoa! That's where they get you. Look at the athleticism of Barry. Oh. I mean, when you run into a almost literal brick wall, it's, yeah. you know. I mean, the, the momentum took him all the way over to tag Ryan Taylor. <laughs> Uncontrollable. What a match here, Kathy. We have a machine, a detective, a Swiss Army knife, and we have a global superstar all facing off. Incredible. Ryan Taylor making his bar debut, as is Jake Atlas. Of course, Atlas saying his career has taken off is an understatement, but Ryan Taylor, there's a reason I call him the Swiss Army Knife. The guy has so many weapons in his arsenal, including the middle finger salute. Didn't see that coming. Jake Atlas, trained out of Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy, recently just won his first championship yes. of his career. Actually, just last week, the Santino Brothers Wrestling Champion. That's right, taking it from Brody King. Massive moment for him. Look at that. Japanese arm drag there by Jake Atlas. Oh! oh. Taylor landing on his feet. Nice show of agility from Ryan Taylor. Can't forget Taylor, triple crown champion for Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. He's won everything. Oh! That's a tough landing! Oh. Wait a minute, uh -oh. Atlas picking up speed, uh -oh. incoming uh -oh. through the second rope! Crashing in Oof. to Ryan Taylor. Meanwhile, Detective Dan Barry, Brian Cage, they're just taking a breather. Oh, wait, what is Barry thinking? I mean, that's, that's a fair warning. He's, he's, he's warning, oh, uh-oh. Oh, don't do it. Oh, no. Dan, oh Dan. my! Detective Dan, nailing it. Wow. I think we just solved the case. He is the ultimate body guy. We called it though. Yeah. We, we really did. You did, I just followed you, well, lead. Thank you. Oh uh -oh. my God, wait a minute. Oh, woo. 
Whew. I think every fan is glad that didn't just happen because someone could have been obliterated. Absolutely. Because you know what? You might think you're doing damage to your opponents by hitting them, but you're all going down on that like linoleum floor. It's not going to be pleasant for anybody. Yeah, and, and look, we've seen what Brian Cage can do, which is everything. everything. I mean, for God's sake, the guy was an X Division champion. He, I mean, an absolute powerhouse. Now, this is a match I'd love to see one-on-one -on -one at some point. That actually would be a really incredible match. No doubt about it. And there's Taylor. Those, God, his submission skills are so on point. But Cage just, the power of, oh my God, picking him up, dead body weight, Dan Barry. Always the opportunist. I mean, when you're when you're cracking a case, yeah. oh my gosh, speaking of cracking. Yeah, when you're on the like, force, you have to. Yeah, you really have to. Now, I don't know what force, I believe he's more of a private dick at this point. He's been fired from a few I, I, precincts. I could see that. Yeah. I could. It, it was a more of a wardrobe uh, uniform thing. I, mm. He is a rather Oh my wrestler. God. Ouch. Dan Barry, that's deceptive strength. He's not gonna like what he uh, sees when he turns around, though. No, nothing deceptive about that. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brian Cage, Kathy, as you know, has never been defeated in singles competition at bar wrestling. Never, and he has been in the ring against Austin Theory, Brody King, Tessa Blanchard. Absolutely. And he's taking them all down. Whoa! Well, unbelievable. No way. Dang. Just dumps him. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, Dan. Oh, 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 and a moonsault off the second row. There you go. Hooks the leg. Only a two. Cage kicking out. It's uh -oh. like when you think you know who the murderer is. Yeah, yeah. But you need to go back and check your clues. I was just about to say, you know, Dan Barry. It's almost like he's... He's the perpetrator in every game of Clue, but yes. you can never figure it out. That's how deceptive he is. Like, is he is he in the conservatory? Is he in the lounge? Does he need a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. There's Taylor. Ankle lock. Barry trying desperately. Oh, yeah. Jake Atlas catches him, and now he's going to hook him in. Oh, the agony. Oh, the my. Face. But look out. That's a clubbing blow to the back of the head. Oh, oh, Taylor's got it too now. Ankle locks on all three opponents. It looks like Cage is trying to get equal out the Look out. Super kick to the back of the skull. Oh my. Boom! Oh, Jesus! The tornado just came through. Nick's name was Jake Atlas. That was the LGB DDT. Landed to perfection, but Dan Barry, once again, always at the right spot. But you, he's not gonna outquick Jake Atlas. I don't think anyone can outquick Jake Atlas. Oh no! I think Dan Barry has just been, uh... oh wait, look out! Not a smart move, you're gonna, he, he catches him in midair, but lands on his feet. Oh my God, Matrix, and a cutter! Jake Atlas, you can really see, is showcasing his gymnastic ability, his cheering That's the leg, Cage kicking out at two. Yeah, Detective Dan Barry's gonna spend some time in t uh, solitary confinement after that. That was, good God almighty. Meanwhile, Cage just picking up Taylor like he was a featherweight. Charging in. How is Dan Barry back to his feet? What's that? German suplex. That strength, the, the endurance that he needs for, for a position like his is so demanding. Uh-oh, look out. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to regret this. Fall away. Meanwhile, Atlas heading up top. I think he waited too long. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. Dear God. Oh, a power slam. Hooks the leg. That could be it. Oh! Hey. 
That took everything in Jake Atlas to kick out of that. And it just goes to show even, you know, we're calling it the battle of the body guys, but I, 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 I feel like it might have been said if initially in jest. Ooh. But I think everyone is actually pretty fairly matched. The fact that everyone's been kicking out of, of... Oh, this is incredible. I mean, you just heard the fans chanting for Cage. He is Mr. GMSI, the multi-move paragon. Mm -hmm. He can win in so many ways and a massive lariat to Atlas. Everyone is out. Whew. 2018 ending with a flurry. Bar wrestling in the midnight hour. Johnny, who do you think is going to be the first one to make it to their feet? Well, Atlas is rolling, but you just see Cage. I mean, the guy is, besides the power, he, he could go for three hours if he had to. Oh, my God, no. Not Alabama slam. Oh, yes! Into a power bomb. Meanwhile, Taylor and a massive knee to the sternum. Perfect circle! Hits the perfect circle, hooks the leg. How did Dan Barry kick out? Are you kidding me? I've never seen anyone kick out of the perfect circle before. I, I am just so flabbergasted that this match is still going on. They're all giving each other everything that they have in their wheelhouse, and, and, and still no one's saying die. Speaking of wheelhouse, we're about to see something else. The LGBT oh, there it is. there it is. That was the official one. Looks oh. like that has to be it. Cage kicking out. <sighs> we saw a modified LGBT DDT earlier. That was the official, and boy, was it perfect, but it's going to take more than that to keep the machine down for three. Jake Atlas ready to climb up to that high rent district, I think. And he loves living up there. I mean, who would? Look out. Oh. The elevation of that kick from Ryan Taylor is uncanny. What is he? Look out. Oh. Dan Barry interrupting whatever he was going to try there. Ooh. Wait a minute. All right. Oh. You're kidding, Dan Barry, hooking both legs. Oh, Ryan Taylor just kicking out. Kathy, how impressed are you with Dan Barry that he's still alive? You know, I Ooh, I stand corrected. I was already impressed before we even got started, just because I knew there was something special about about sure. Dan Barry. Oh my God! But, oh, what are we? What a great roll up there! Oh, Cage kicking out of two. Step up in Seguri. Didn't take the biggest step, but it worked. Whatever it takes. Oh my God. That was, that was loud. This could be it. Oh, he got it. Good night, Detective. Hooks the leg. Cage wins. Yet another to add to the tick list of success for Brian Cage. Well, it's officially an undefeated night for the Cage family. We saw young Skyler earlier defeating Brody King in thumb wrestling, and now Cage winning this fatal four-way. Wow, this was nonstop from bell to bell, but once again, stays undefeated, does Brian Cage. Johnny, I think it just runs in the family. There's no doubt. The pedigree indeed, although Brian Cage showing respect to every other opponent. We'll see if we can get a pulse from Dan Barry but ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. Bar Wrestling in the Midnight Hour continues. <laughs>